This pattern is called a Little Winter Brown and it's number four within Pritt's book. The body should use an orange silk sparingly dubbed with hair's ear fur. Pritt, however, doesn't really specify the shade of orange that he wants, but I like to use a fairly hot orange. This silk I'm using now is probably about 60 years old and it's Purcell's hot orange silk. Now to start the fly, we again leave a little gap behind the eye of the hook and we slowly trap in our silk. Now in tight touching turns we use that tag of silk to nestle each turn of silk tight at the side of the preceding turn. So this gives us a nice durable body with no gaps. Come to a point just beyond the, the point of the hook and cut off the tag end. Now, Pritt states that it should be dubbed with hair's ear fur. And when he states this, he doesn't really mean this dark fur taken here, but he, he means the pole fur taken from the base of the hair's ear. If you can get a full skin, it's much better, and you can see this pole fur right at the base of the ears. This is the one that you want. Now, we don't really need to wax our silks because the fur is, has quite a long staple so it's quite easy to dub. Simply brush it onto your silk and there you have a nice sparse dubbing. Once you're happy with its consistency take another two wraps back towards where the, the barb of the hook would be and then in tight touching turns, bring your silk back to the place, or bring your silk up the hook shank to a point where you're going to tie in your hackle. Now, if you think you've got too much fur on the fly, you can just grip it with your fingers. And just fret it away. It's easier to take fur off the fly than it is to put it on at a later date. So just get your finger in there and slowly fret that fur off. Now for the hackle, Pritt states the outside of a woodcock's wing, which is these beautiful feathers here. Unlike the the usual winter brown. This pattern uses an overcover feather taken from the outside of the wing, which gives us this beautifully mottled feather. Now, I must admit, when dressing this fly, I like to strip one side of the hackle. And to do that, we expose small tip on the hackle and just strip the underside off because now when I mount the hackle in that bare stalk is going to give me my leading edge. So simply come in with your hackle and again trap it with two or three firm wraps of silk. Once it's secured in, come with your scissors and cut off any waste end. Now take your hackle in your hackle pliers and gently but still firmly wrap the hackle. Now people will argue how many turns of hackle you want, but remember you've now just stripped one side of the hackle. So four turns in a sense 
equals 2. When you're happy with the required density of the fly, simply brush those hackle fibers out of the way and come in with your silk and trap that stalk down. Only takes a couple of turns of silk and it's securely in. Brush the hackle fibers out of the way. If you've got any that are a little bit strained getting in the way, you can always come in with your scissors and just trim them off. Now, a simple two or three turn whip finish. Pull yourself tight, come in with your scissors and trim it off. And there we have Brit's little winter brow. Mm -hmm.